Hi guys, my name is Rick Shields down here at Traffic Girl Centre in Manchester and we're going to be trying the new Nike Vapor Flex Fairway Wood. So we've got adjustability, we've got a completely black finish this time, certainly from looking above apart from the Nike swoosh, the vault swoosh. We've still got the cavity in the back with the, the vault colouring, the ribbed cages, we've got a slight slit behind the face to help with off-centred hits. The three, I've got this in three wood, which can go from 13 degrees all the way to 17 degrees. It's a very strong three wood to almost a four wood really. You can go left, right and centre, left, right and centre as well, depending on your shot shape, which make a bit of a difference. Let's give it a hit. I've got it in uh, Diamana Stiff Flex 70 gram. Comes in a tacky grey kind of win uh, grip, which is, is what they've brought, had in the covert, the red and white ones. Now they've gone black and grey to suit with the colouring. I just think this looks different class. I've tried the hybrids already. I've tried the fairway speed already, so go and check those out on my channel. Um, but for looks wise, straight away, this behind the ball is, is it's just different class. I just love the look of it with the black face, the black head, the swoosh, a bit of vault colouring on the face, on the, on the actual grooves, the Nike tick. It does look great. It does look really good. Let's give it a hit. Let's see how it, how it kind of performs on GC2. It's just straight. I just, I think I'm just going to hit it great already. Just because it looks. That's, that's, that's prompting a lot of things, isn't it? I feel like I'm going to hit it well already. It didn't let me down. It did not let me down. That felt great. Well, I would say a little bit louder maybe than the speed. Felt different to the speed. There's a lot of talk about whether a glued head and a, and a, road, a detachable head would always ever feel the same. I don't ever think they do. I think a detachable head definitely has a, a different feel to it. It's off a tiny little T first. Now, head shape it is smaller and probably a fraction shallower. Now, I don't think that's just because of the black finish it looks shallower or whether it actually is, but it's... Let me have a look. No, it is. It's smaller and slightly shallower, the flex. So for me, definitely looks more appealing when sat behind the ball let's give it a few more hits lovely shot lovely flight great feel off the face you know i've not absolutely middle 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 that and it still got up there at 240 or 235 i would roughly say for a 15 degree three would about that 240 mark would be perfect that mark would be spot on. What I like about it is that if you did need to fill a gap in your set, you could adjust it. You know, if you found that you started to see big gaps opening up between your driver and your longest iron slash hybrid, you could maneuver the, the loft a little bit and help you fill that gap quite nicely, which I think is a good, a good bonus point. Let's go one more off the tee. I'm going to hit some off the floor. I mean, come on, that's just awesome. It's just such a solid flight. Up there at 240? Yeah, 242. So it's not, I'm not saying it's the longest in the world, but it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be a monster long hitting club. You know, I think that's, there's other, other three woods that you can get for that. I think it's just doing what it needs to do. It needs to fill your gap between your driver and your hybrid or your longest iron. Off the floor, again, straight away. I, don't, I think it's the black finish and it's slightly shallower. It just doesn't look as scary to hit off the floor. Smaller head, which might not suit a lot of people. A lot of players looking down might want to see a big head. I quite like it in the black finish and the black head. Right, off the floor, let's see how it, how it performs. That was a fraction off the bottom. Okay, I didn't hit that one well. I've blocked it outright, granted, but I didn't hit that one well. And it's still, it still got to 240. I promise you that was a dreadful hit right off the bottom of the golf club that was awful it's gone to the right i know i know but it was still got the distance so if you're hitting that into a long par four or a par five and you're thinking well i didn't quite middle that you've still green side you're still chipping hopefully as long as you're not that might have gone out of bounds it's gone that far right but the distance would still be there let's go a couple more Great feel. Look how straight that is. I saved myself with that one. The other ones were a bit right and left, but I saved myself with that one. 
felt great. Two, three, four, just a fraction shorter when hitting off the, uh, off the deck, just because I can't quite get high enough on the face to really bomb it out there. Let's go one more. Oh, it's a bit left. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit one more, one more, one more. Stay with me, stay with me. That wasn't a good shot. It's a big hit, but it wasn't, it wasn't a good shot. Stay with me, let me hit another one. I'm gonna cancel that one out the averages because that was a bit, a pull's generally going a bit further there. So let's go one more. Oh, I've pushed that one a fraction. I couldn't see it actually in, in flight. I've just pushed it a fraction. But performance-wise, it's still up there. I forget direction-wise. That's, that's me. That's down to me. But the fact that the club feels great, it's got a great look to it. It's got distances galore. It's a shame those are a little bit right and left. Let's, let me just take out. I'm going to take out a couple of these. I'm going to take out those last two because they were... They were real scrappy ones. If we're looking at the averages, we're gonna just cancel out those last two. Average carry distance, 237. Good numbers, very nice hit. 15 degree I'd expect about 240, so it's pretty much smack bang on the mark. Furthest one was 240, shortest one was 233. We can live with that, that's okay. Uh, good fast ball speed, good club head speed, that it matters 110, but the ball speed then relates to 150, which is great. Uh, spin number's about that 4,000. And it, like I said, it was just a little bit right and left, but that was more down to me. When I got it, it was, it was nailed on. It definitely feels nicer to it off the tee, but most fairway woods do. Um, but it looks just phenomenal. It really does look amazing. I think it's got a great adjustability. I think it's got, it's very bold, so it's gonna to appeal to a lot of people's eye. Yet when you turn it back over, it's not ridiculously bold. It's not, it's not uh, distracting your eye. Let us know what you think about the Nike Vapor, Speed, fairway wood and hybrid, about the flex, fairway wood and hybrid. Are they the ones you're gonna be trying? I'm certainly toying with the idea of putting it against some more testing with some three woods that I'm currently using, definitely this one. Stay tuned, do subscribe by clicking the link down here below. Check me out on Facebook and Twitter. Facebook is Rick Shields and the page, and Twitter is Rick Shields PGA. Thanks for watching guys, let us know what you think about the new Nike Vapor range. I look forward to seeing you soon. I like it. Shame just to hit those few left and right, but it's good. I've run out of balls as well. I'd have hit another one. Thanks for watching, guys.